In this video, we are going to learn about compensating cable, extension cable, and how to connect a thermocouple via transmitters. And the best thing about it is, which is the best option to be selected? Let's look into that. The first thing to understand is the actual wiring. So basically, imagine here's the process and the thermocouple, then you need the transmission, and finally it gets to the control system. Now, this is possible via extension cable. So thermocouple can come through an extension cable to the control system or it can come through a compensating cable or it can come via a transmitter. So we will explore all of these three criteria and when you can select which one. First thing is to understand the extension cable. So here's a thermocouple assembly placed. This is the thermocouple cable. So two dissimilar wires that are welded together. And here's what you have an extension cable. Now this has to be connected to these junctions so that the millivolt signal can be transferred. Now do you see the word here put is extension. That means it is an extension of the same cable type exactly the same thermocouple cable. So it is made of the same material that of the thermocouple. Compare that to a compensating cable. So for example, if you see here, this is thermocouple assembly and here's your compensation cable. Now, if you look at the color of this cable is something different. The reason for keeping it different is because these are going to have different property, different cables, but they're having the same properties. So you can use these cables because they're low cost as compared to extension cables and the thermocouple cables actually can transfer the signal through them because the properties remain almost the same, but they're not the same cable that has to be noted. Finally, if you see here, between thermocouple cable and compensating cable, there are certain limitations that we will discuss at the end of the video so that you are aware that compensating cables cannot be used in every application. Let us look at the next criteria now which is basically thermocouples. So thermocouples can be connected also via transmitter. So a thermocouple cable goes from the element to the transmitter. From transmitter, normal 4 to 20 milliampere signal can go to your control system. We will look at the consideration. People say as per cost, the compensating cable is usually very low cost. Extension cables are costly and transmitters are more costly. Is this understanding correct? The answer to it is no. Why? Let's look into it. The first thing is for compensating cables, the temperature criteria is 200 degrees Celsius. Only up till 200 degrees Celsius you can use this because the cable properties remain same only up till 200 degrees Celsius as compared to an extension cable. So compensating cable have this limitation. The next thing if you see is thermocouple cables versus extension cables versus thermocouple with transmitter. So first thing is they need a special module which you see here. So basically they will need a special module that can actually take the millivolt signal as compared to the normal 4 to 20 milliampere signal which is a normal AO card in the system. The next thing is basically diagnostic features. Thermocouple extension cables will just give you millivolt. So whatever are the special features that you can get with transmitters like Namur NE43, alarms, etc. All those diagnostic features are missing because you're using just an extension cable as compared to using it via transmitter. The third thing is for resistance. If you look here for resistance, basically a thermocouple cable has higher resistance compared to transmitters. So even that has to be taken into consideration. Finally, if you see here with respect to inventory, because you need a special module to be having for thermocouple extension cable as compared to for a transmitter, you can use a normal AO card. So you also have to take care of the inventory cost, etc. So you have to see all of those costs while comparing a cost consideration between extension cable and transmitters. After a lot of hard work and research of almost five years, looking at the most asked job interview questions, especially for instrumentation control engineers, five Finally, there is a crash course available and this crash course consists not only just of pressure transmitters, temperature instruments, level instruments, flow instruments, but it also includes control valves, relief valves and on off valves. Not just that, it also includes control system questions. And the best thing about the course is that this course is completely free of cost. And the best thing is just when this course got released, there have been almost 305 students in just three days with an amazing rating of 4.8 out of 5 as of now. Come on, grab this course, take this in interview questions and trust me, this course is genuinely going to help you revise almost all of instrumentation and let me know in the feedback section what else do you want. Let's make instrumentation an amazing branch. So till then, happy learning, take care and let's meet in the course.